Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Golden Baccalaureate Gary Levingston's Shocking Tie to Music Icon The Golden Baccalaureate aired its premiere episode on Wednesday, September 18th and Joan Vassos had some amazing suitors. One of them was Gary Levingston, who fans absolutely adore. He is sweet, charming, bubbly, loves to dance and interestingly enough, has a shocking tie to a music icon. So what more is there to know about Gary? Keep reading for all of the details. The Golden Bachelorette Gary Levingston's Shocking Tie to Music Icon When the Golden Bachelorette premiered, Joan Vassos met 24 eligible men, all there to woo her and hopefully win her heart. They want that final rose, and to sail off into the sunset with her as they all have their own stories to share. Joan lost her love of 30-plus years, whereas some are in the same boat. There are girl dads, grandfathers, stepdads, adoptive fathers, and those who thought they would never feel anything again. Now they are here in the mansion, and Joan has given them a renewed sense of hope. One of the contenders for her hearts and already a fan favorite is Gary Levingston. He has a heart of gold and teared up when he saw his daughter and lookalike grandson during the messages from home segment. In fact, everyone was tearing up and leaning on each other. So who is Gary? According to Mio, he is 65, from Palm Desert, and a retired finance executive. He is said to go above and beyond what is expected of him at his job, which is clear by the way he interacted with not just Joan, but the fellow suitors. Gary has a master's from USC Marshall School of Business. Plus, he went to the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts for documentary filmmaking, so this must be a very cool experience. Gary Levingston is a father of two and wants to travel the world, especially Paris, but there's more to his story. He just so happens to be the godson of the late, great, iconic Tina Turner. That explains his passion for moving and shaking. Fans love Gary. There are so many amazing The Golden Bachelorette contenders, but viewers really like Gary Levingston. They immediately expressed how much they adored him, even if he is not necessarily the right fit for Joan Vassos. Gary showed up to The Golden Bachelorette in a gold suit. He is the moment. I love you, Jerry Hess, that guy. Gary seems to be a good all-around guy and hilarious too. Lol, lol, lol. BRB, making Gary's laugh my ringtone. Oh, Gary's gotta be my number one. In a world where reality TV endlessly reinvents itself, the latest cultural phenomenon, the Golden Bachelorette, has taken viewers by storm. But it's not just the show's concept of love in the golden years that's capturing attention. One contestant, Gary Levingston, has sent shockwaves through both the show and pop culture with a bombshell revelation. A secret connection to one of music's most iconic figures. As fans of the show scramble to uncover details about this unexpected tie, the truth may be even more surprising than anyone could have anticipated. The unassuming star, Gary Levingston, 65, didn't appear to be anything but a down-to-earth gentleman when he first appeared on The Golden Bachelorette. Silver-haired and ruggedly handsome, he quickly became a favorite with viewers for his easygoing charm and penchant for heartfelt conversations. He appeared to be every bit the retired accountant from Ohio that he claimed, looking for a second chance at love, after losing his wife of 35 years. Week after week, Gary built a quiet but undeniable connection with the golden baccalaureate herself, Margaret Taylor. The chemistry between the two was palpable from the start. Gary's modesty and sincere compliments made him stand out in a sea of flashier contestants. But beneath his unassuming exterior lay a story that no one, not even Margaret, had seen coming. A hidden past. The first hint of Gary's unexpected background came during a group date episode that involved music. 
The contestants were challenged to perform their favorite love songs in front of Margaret and the other men. While most men fumbled with nerves, Gary shocked everyone by picking up a guitar and flawlessly strumming out the opening chords of a well-known 1970s classic, Superstition by Stevie Wonder. He didn't just stop at playing the music. He belted out the tune with a confidence and ease that caught even Margaret by surprise. It wasn't just a passable performance. Gary's voice had a richness and texture that seemed oddly familiar, and his guitar playing was far too polished for someone who claimed to have just been an amateur hobbyist. After the performance, Margaret playfully teased him about his talent, asking if he had ever been in a band. Gary, as usual, smiled sheepishly and brushed it off as just a phase. But the intrigue had already been sparked. Social media went wild with speculation, and fans began digging into Gary's past, hoping to uncover something more about his sudden virtuosity. What they found shocked them, and soon it became clear that Gary Levingston wasn't just any retiree. He had a tie to one of the greatest legends in music. The big reveal, Gary's connection to a music icon, as episodes went on, Gary remained tight-lipped about his past, but tabloids and fans weren't so patient. After extensive research, a particularly dedicated viewer connected the dots. Gary Livingston was none other than Gary Livingston, a former session guitarist who worked with major music icons in the 1970s, including the legendary Stevie Wonder. Back in the day, Gary had been a young prodigy, known for his skills on the electric guitar. He played for various recording sessions at Motown, working behind the scenes with artists who would go on to become global sensations. His biggest claim to fame, he played rhythm guitar on Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions, the Grammy-winning album that included hits like Living for the City and Higher Ground. Although he was never in the spotlight himself, Gary was a highly respected musician in the industry. However, fame wasn't something he craved. After a few years in the business, Gary walked away from the chaotic world of professional music to pursue a quieter life. He got married, started a family, and moved to Ohio, where he lived a peaceful, unremarkable life, never mentioning his glamorous past to anyone, not even his children. For him, it was a chapter he had closed long ago. A love story intertwined with music. Gary's decision to leave music behind made more sense when more of his story came to light. It turns out that his first love, his late wife, Sarah, was also connected to the music world. They had met during a recording session where she was a backup singer for another Motown artist. The two shared an instant connection that blossomed into a lifelong love. When Sarah decided to step away from the industry, Gary followed her, eager to create a life that prioritized their relationship over the temptations of fame. For years, Gary kept his former career a secret, even from his children, because he wanted them to see him as a devoted husband and father, not a musician chasing stardom. It wasn't until his wife's passing that Gary began to reconsider parts of his past, including his love for music. Joining the Golden Baccalaureate was part of his healing process, an attempt to rediscover himself after the loss of his partner, and to perhaps rekindle the kind of deep connection he once had with Sarah. The Aftermath, A New Spotlight Once the truth was out, the Golden Bachelorette didn't shy away from Gary's past. In fact, it became one of the most talked-about storylines of the season. Fans were enamored with the idea of this humble, retired accountant being tied to one of the most influential albums in music history. As the show progressed, Gary and Margaret's relationship deepened, with music becoming a central theme in their budding romance. On one particularly memorable date, the producers arranged for a surprise a private concert where Gary was invited to play with a local jazz band. The look of pure joy on his face as he held the guitar again was undeniable, and Margaret was visibly moved by the moment. 
It was a reminder that, though Gary may have left the music industry behind, the love for it had never truly disappeared. A second chance at love. In the end, Gary's secret past didn't overshadow his sincerity on the Golden Baccalaureate. If anything, it added a new layer to his character, showing that even those who live the quietest lives may have stories filled with extraordinary moments.